Welcome back to csecmathtutor.com. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to simplify an algebraic expression. Before we start simplifying, we need to talk about what these definitions mean. First of all, what is an algebraic term? An algebraic term simply is a letter or a symbol that we use to represent something. In solving equations, we tend to call them variables. Writing them down here, they are called terms. So individually, x and 2r and 4m squared are terms. When we combine terms together, such as writing x plus 3 or 2r plus d plus 6, they become expressions because we combine them using an operator such as plus or minus. An identity is exactly what it says. This expression on this side is exactly the same thing as this one on the other side. So 5 bracket 2x minus 3 is exactly the same as 10x minus 15, if you should multiply it out. So the three lines in the middle mean that this expression on this side is exactly the same thing, or is identical to this expression. Same thing here with this one at the lower end on the screen. Let's talk about what it means to simplify an algebraic expression. To simplify an algebraic expression means that we are going to take the expression and write it with fewer terms. We do this by adding and subtracting similar or like terms. So in this ex ex example here, we have 2r plus b plus 6 plus 3b minus 5r. 2r and minus 5r are what we call like terms. Both have r. Also, b and 3b are what we call like terms. And then we have the 6, which is not like any of these, because these have r, these have b, but this is just a constant 6, so it is not like any of the others. Now we can combine these, this 2r and this minus 5r, that gives us a minus 3r. Here we can combine this plus b and this 3b, to get 4b. And here we can come, we can just, there's no, nothing to combine with the 6, so we write it back. So we have reduced our expression with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, and now it has 1, 2, 3 terms. So we have taken the expression and we have rewritten it with fewer terms. Fewer terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 now becomes 1, 2, 3. And therefore, we have simplified our expression. In this example here, we have 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 minus 8x minus 7. Note that 4x squared and 12x are very different terms. 12x and minus 8x are similar. And we can combine those two together. 4x squared is not the same thing as 12x because 12x does not have a square, while this x has a square. So if something is not like, we write it down. Now we can combine our 12x and our minus 8x by saying 12x, take away 8x, that gives us a 4x. And then we have 9 minus 7, we can combine these two to get 2. So 4x squared plus 4x and 9 take away 7 is 2. So now we have a positive 2. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, and we have, come, we have brought it down to 1, 2, 3 terms. And so we would have simplified it. So let's say that again. To simplify an expression in algebra means that we take the expression and write it with fewer terms. We do that by adding and subtracting terms that are alike. If they are alike, we add them together or subtract them. And if they are not alike, we leave them alone and just write them back. Now let's look at some more examples. In this example, we have 2 times this bracket minus 3 times this bracket. So let's do the multiplication. We have 2 times 5, that gives us 10x. So we have 10x here. 2 times minus y gives us a minus 2y. Minus 3 times 3x gives us a minus 9x. And minus 3 times y, a negative y, gives us a positive, positive 3y. Now we are going to combine our like terms. 10x and minus 9x are alike. Also, 
negative 2y and positive 3y are alike. So let's combine our like terms. 10x take away 9x gives us a x. And negative 2y plus a 3y gives us y. We have taken 1, 2, 3, 4 terms and we have reduced it to 2 terms. We have simplified it. x and y are two different terms and cannot be combined together. So this is our answer. Let's take this one. 2y time plus 3 times y minus 1 gives us 2y plus 3y minus 3. These two are alike, so we can combine them through addition. 2y plus 3y gives us 5y, and we write back our 3 because there's nothing else there like it, and we cannot combine our 5y and our minus 3 together into one term. So this is our answer. Here, we're going to multiply our bracket by negative 3. This gives us a negative 9x minus 3. And subtracting this bracket, we subtract 6x, and then we subtract the negative 3, which means that we're going to add 3. Now, the negative 9x and the negative 6x are similar terms. They are like terms. So we can combine them by saying negative 9 minus 6 gives us a negative 15x. And a negative 3 plus 3, those are similar. They are constants. That gives us 0. So our answer reduces down to negative 15x. We have taken 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, and we have reduced it to one term. We have simplified our expression. When we have brackets, I need to simplify them. The question says expand and simplify. What we do is that we take the first term in the first bracket, that's 2x, and we multiply the second bracket by it. Then we take the second term in the first bracket and multiply the second bracket. So in both instances, you are multiplying the second bracket by the first bracket. So we multiply our 2x by our 3x, we get 6x squared. 2x times negative 4 gives us a negative 4x. And 5 times 3x gives us a 15x. And 5 times minus 4 gives us a minus 20. 6x squared is not like these x, so we write it back. However, our minus 4x and 15x are similar terms. So we can combine them by saying 15x take away 4x, which gives us 11x. And we write back our minus 20 because there's nothing else there like it. All the terms in this expression now are different. x squared, x, and 20. So we leave it alone. It cannot go any further. Let's try it again with this example. We take the first term, 2x, and we multiply x minus 7. Then we take the second term, set 3, and multiply the second bracket. So now 2x times x gives us a 2x squared. 2x times minus 7 gives us a minus 14, minus 14x. 3 times x gives us a 3x. And 3 times minus 7 gives us minus 21. These two, these two terms in the middle are similar. So we write back our 2x squared, subtract these two or add them, and we get negative 11x. Write back our minus 21 because there's nothing else like it to combine with. And we have our answer. In this example, we are told to square this x plus 2. To square something means that we multiply it by itself. So let us multiply it by itself. Here we go. And now we take the x, we multiply the second x plus 2, and then we take that 2 and multiply the second x plus 2. This gives us x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4, which finally gives us x squared plus 4x plus 4. Know that this expression is sometimes called a perfect square. All right, let's try that with a final example. In some cases, you will be asked to prove simple identities. And what that involves is taking this side of the expression and working it out to ensure that when you're finished, you end up with this side of the expression. So your work will be on this side. And once you're finished with it, 
if you haven't made any mistakes, granted that the question is written correctly, then you will end up with this side of the expression. So let's try to do that. 2x minus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 3 minus x plus 4, x minus 4. Let me fix that. x minus 4 square. So we have here 2x times 2x plus 3 minus 3 times 2x plus 3. So we took this 2x, multiplied that bracket, took this minus 3 and multiplied the bracket again. Minus, since we're subtracting all of this, so I'm putting it in a bracket by itself. x minus 4 times x minus 4. Writing out this section gives us x times x minus 4 minus 4 times x minus 4. So over this side of the expression, we multiply 2x by 2x. We get 4x squared. We multiply 2x times 3. We get a plus 6x. We multiply negative 3 times 2x. We get a minus 6x. And negative 3 times a positive 9 gives us a minus 9. When we multiply this out, we get a negative x squared. Sorry, a positive x square. I'm, I'm jumping the gun. x times x gives us a positive x square. x times minus 4x gives us a minus 4x. Minus 4 times x gives us another minus 4x. And minus 4 times minus 4 gives us a positive 16. So what we have is we're subtracting all of this expression. So 4x squared writing it out, 6x minus 6x here is a 0, that leaves us with minus 9 there, minus all of this, so a minus positive x squared gives us a minus x squared, a minus 4 gives us a plus 4, this minus minus, that's a double minus, minus negative again, gives us a positive, and a minus 16 right here. So we're subtracting an x squared, we're subtracting a negative 4, we're subtracting another negative 4, we're subtracting 16. Now let's combine what we have. We have a 4x square and a minus x square here that leaves us with 3x square. And then we have a plus 4x and a plus 4x, these two are similar, that gives us an 8x. And then we have a minus 9 and a minus 16 that combines to give us minus 25. Once you're finished, you should see that your expression is exactly the same thing as the one on the other side of the equation. So while this, by, by simplifying, show that you would have multiplied out your brackets, you would have done your operations correctly, and when you're finished, what you get here is exactly the same thing or is identical to what's on the other side of the expression. To simplify an expression means that we take an expression and write it with fewer terms. As you can see, when we started expanding the brackets here, there were many, many terms. When we're finished with it, we ended up with three terms. The number of terms that you get depends on the question you have, but remember the idea of what it means to simplify. To simplify means to write it with fewer terms. Thank you for watching.